Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Glossy Philosophy. My name is Jansen Vinman. Make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up because today we are talking about an incredible book about one man's journey as a transgender man in Joe Ivester's Once a Girl, Always a Boy. So stay tuned. As I was planning my book talks for 2024, I was bouncing it off of a friend who said, why don't you have a transgender book on your list? And I was embarrassed that I had not thought about that before. I did a little research and this book by Joe Ivester was highly, highly recommended. And I have to say it blew me away and really opened my eyes to the journey that at least one transgender person has taken. So as we continue to think about metamorphosis through 2024, I think this is a very appropriate book. It's not only a story about a physical metamorphosis or outward appearance metamorphosis, it's also a metamorphosis of the family itself. How do they function with Jeremy becoming a man? And the coolest thing, I think from this is not only your awareness that you will have and one of the cool things about this book is not only will you have a better awareness of what it means to go through a transgender transformation but also what happens on the inside as well and not only for that person but also for a family member. Another reason why I love this book is because Joe Ivester, the mother of this transgender man, has taken not only her perspective, Jeremy's perspective, but also the entire family. Now some family members only get one chapter or only have agreed to put in a little bit of their personal feelings towards this transformation inside the book, but just having more than one perspective I thought was very helpful and very interesting in forming this picture of what the family went through and what Jeremy himself went through during his Again, physical transformation. Now I believe that since it's released, this book, which I have the older version, Once a Girl, Always a Boy, the once has been crossed out and replaced with Never a Girl, Always a Boy. If you find that title, I believe it is going to be the same or very close to the same as this book that we are talking about today. Something else to put on your radar is that this year, earlier this year, Joe and Jeremy have written a play and it was performed in Texas and it was called Never a Girl, Always a Boy. And it took one specific situation in this book and transformed it into a play. And I think that is so cool. Now, Joe and Jeremy have been speaking for many years on how to get through the transformation process, not only, again, from the transgender person's point of view, but also from the family's point of view. Just offering support and offering help. When Jeremy was going through this, there just weren't a lot of resources for him or for the family. And this family, the Ivester family, has really, really helped kind of bring to light a lot of resources and also a lot of support and just a lot of information in general about transgender and what they might need from either medical or from family, emotional support, anything. So they are really good resource in general if you or someone you know is going through through this transgender journey. I would not only recommend the book, but also recommend just kind of looking them up online and seeing if there are any resources that they can share with you. Another really exciting thing is as I was preparing for this book talk, I did see that Jeremy Ivester is engaged to be married by the end of this year, which I think is so amazing because by the end of this book, you really do feel like you've gotten to know him and you're really rooting for him and you're really rooting for this family that has just been so open and so loving with Jeremy and Jeremy's transformation. A wedding is such a wonderful thing to take place and it feels like a great next chapter for Jeremy and his fiance. So congratulations, Jeremy, and congratulations, I best your family. Now, getting a little bit more into the book, I was shocked by how ignorant I was on what it meant to be a transgender person and what a transgender person would go through, not only physically and having maybe some surgeries or taking hormone pills, but 
also just the emotional drain that that would take on you. And, and then the more I started thinking about it, the more I realized that I have personally never questioned whether or not I should be a male or a female and what a privilege that was, that I was lucky enough to be born knowing that I was a, a girl, a woman, and I have grown up and embraced that. And again, I've never once questioned that. And I just didn't realize how frustrating and how impairing that can be for someone who is going through this. Again, if you are someone who is going through this transgender transformation or you're thinking about it, or you know someone, or you have a family member, please get some information about this because your world will explode, it will open up, and everything will become so much more humanized. And you will remember that we are talking about people at the root of this. We are just talking about people and everyone has a story and everyone deserves to be heard and to show up in the world how they want to show up. Something else that really shocked me were the statistics of suicide rate, homelessness, and abuse that someone who is transgender may go through. It was, the numbers were so high that it didn't seem real, that it didn't seem like it could possibly be correct. I know that Jo Ivester would do her due diligence because of her love of her son Jeremy, and I've also heard these statistics in other resources and other places, so I'm just going off of that, but it is quite shocking. The last thing I wanted to talk about was Jeremy himself and how brave he was to be able to communicate and really go after the thing that he knew was true true about himself. And no matter how much pushback he got from the world, from anyone or anything, he still kept going. And I think that's really admirable and something that should be applauded. Now I will say that Jeremy's experience is a, for overall a very happy one. By the end of the book, his family has welcomed him with open arms for the most part through the entire journey. And even though they had questions and even though there was a little bit of pushback every once in a while, as soon as they realized that he needed this and he needed to be called a he and just everything from pronouns to how he dressed to taking hormones and everything else, it was a pretty good experience based on the other statistics that are in this book. Definitely keep that in mind if you are trying to get an idea of what this world is like. Jeremy's internal struggle when he is writing, when he is expressing his thoughts is very, very heartfelt and genuine and very interesting for an outsider, but also knowing that not everyone's family and friends and community will accept a transgender person as much as the Ivesters have accepted Jeremy is is something to be acknowledged. So this is a really great book if you are curious, if you just want to dip your toe into what transgender looks like, what it feels like, and have that positive affirmation with family and friends and community. This is a great one. So that is the book talk for this month. I wanted to Next month, we are doing kind of a twist on metamorphosis. So it's been pretty positive, I would say, throughout the entire year. Now we're gonna dip into a little bit of a metamorphosis into evil with The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde, which is one of my favorite books by one of my favorite authors. And the makeup tutorial is going to be killer, so stay tuned for that. After that, in November, we are celebrating Maria Sibylla Marion, who was an amazing woman in art and science, and her book is called Chrysalis. And then we are ending the year with, again, one of my favorite authors, Seth Godin, and his book on kind of pushing you to be better as not only a person, but if you own a company, pushing companies to be better. And it's a great way to end the year kind of in a very thoughtful, retrospective way. So stay tuned for those. Everything will be listed below in the description box. Again, get yourself to the library, check this book out, get it on Amazon, get it anywhere you can, read it. Let me know what you think. If you are going through this journey or you know someone who's going through this journey, let me know.
Let me know how you like the book and, and let me know if there are any more positive resources that we can spread around to help others who are in this journey, either as a family member, a friend, or themselves. I normally do fashion videos every Wednesday, beauty videos every Friday, and I will see you very soon in the next one. Bye.